Now we're going to have a look at adding connections to our purlins to connect them to our beams. Now, before I do, I just noticing this one purlin here, it's too close to the actual apex. So I am going to move it down slightly. So I'm just going to pick an appropriate elevation where I can see that. And then I'll use the move command. And I will just move it down about 150. And that should do the trick. There we go. All right. Now, if I go to 3D, and I can start having a look at the connections. So let's go to our um, connection command here. And we need to pick an appropriate um, connection. So I'm going to be using this one, the Perlin connection. There are a couple others which you could use instead. And before I do that, though, I do actually need to click the beams course that I want to join together with the connection. So there we go. Pick your two beams, click the connection, and then it drops in that connection. And of course, if it's the wrong one, you can just pick the correct one off the drop down menu. Now, here's a little point. Let's just say that this is on the wrong side of the steel. So that does sometimes happen. So what you do in this instance is click Edit Type. And now you can modify the parameters. And what you see here is the Perlin shoe position. And you can change it to one side or other side. So if I change it to one side and click OK, and then just say OK again, you'll notice it's on that side of the Perlin now. So I'm just going to swap that back because I don't want it by there. OK, and then again, you have lots of different elements that you can um, control the sizes of with regards to these, as you can with the other connections that we've looked at previously. OK, so now I'll just um, go through and add in a few more of those. So there we go. Okay, so there's my connections, and I probably want to put some connections on the inner side by there as well. Oop, did I click on the wrong bit by there? I may have done. I'm going to undo that one. I think I clicked in the wrong place, so let's just click that again. All right. So in this instance, it seems to be going a bit wrong. I'm not able to see it. Connection failed. OK, so I didn't like that connection by there. Um, so we'll undo that. And what we'll do is We'll try another one down by here and just see why that was happening. All right, so it worked fine by there. So for some reason, it doesn't want to connect those two. Um, it could be because it's too close to the other connection by there, in which case we might have to adjust what we do by there. Maybe I'll do a few of these. Let's 
seems to be working fine on all of these. All right, now this one might be a tricky one as well, actually. There we go, that's worked fine. Okay. Um, so this top one by here then. So we had a con connection fail by there. So let's just have a little look and see what we can do about that. Steel connection. Now it's come up with a connection fail. Could we change... There it is. So I've changed this type of connection and it has now worked, but we can see it's on the wrong side. So we will go edit type and do that one on the other side. So there we go. We've just corrected that by using a slightly different connection on that point. So what we would next want to do then is copy these beams and the connections and then copy that across to other parts of the building and then that would actually help to um, and then flip it across to the other side as well with the mirror command. Um, and that really concludes our Perlin's uh, tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed the video and hang around for the next one.